My name is Anna and welcome to my channel. Last weekend I went on a quick getaway to Whidbey Island. If you're visiting Seattle then you're definitely going to want to check out Whidbey Island. It's close enough to the city that you can make it into a day trip or you can do what I did this past weekend and stay there for the whole weekend. The island has a lot of really cute quaint towns like Langley and Coopville and there's really beautiful mountain views and views of the water. The Mukilteo Ferry is about 45 minutes from downtown Seattle and it's a pretty easy drive. If you're visiting Seattle, I definitely recommend that you take one of the ferries. You can also take the Bainbridge Ferry which picks you up downtown and it's a bit easier if you don't have a car and that takes you to Bainbridge, another island which is also a cool place to spend the day. Pacific Northwest fashion. It was pouring rain when we arrived and I didn't bring a rain jacket. I'm not from Seattle originally. I'm actually from a much drier, sunnier climate on the East Coast, but I've learned that people in Seattle and the Pacific Northwest don't let the rain slow them down. So when we first arrived at our Airbnb we were staying at, we went for a walk along the beach in the rain. Fortunately, I found a pair of hiking boots in my trunk that I usually keep in there and those are waterproof so at least I had those for the weekend to keep my feet dry. We brought my boyfriend's 10 month old golden retriever puppy with us and he's probably the happiest, friendliest puppy on the face of the earth but he also has a ton of energy and he was literally out of his mind the entire time getting to play in the water. Our Airbnb opened up to the sea and beachfront in the back and so he spent the entire weekend running and playing fetch in the water and it was so much fun and so cute to watch and I think that was probably my favorite part of the whole thing. Dad grilled us burgers and we took in the view from the backyard. It's mid-June right now and it's crazy how late at night the sun is still out. I took this picture probably at about 10 o'clock at night and you can still see some sunlight in the sky. So Saturday morning we woke up to ocean views and then we went to this gem of a coffee shop that we discovered called Flower House Cafe. And I'll link it down below so you can look it up if you're there. This place was so cute. It feels like you're in a greenhouse. They have window panes that cover this back patio with a ton of flowers and greenery and just open bright spaces. They also have just really great food and coffee. And when you're done eating, you can check out the shop that they have in the back, which has like a ton of cool candles and pottery and flowers and is a neat place to explore. We went for another walk along the beach and then we went to go check out Fort Casey. Casey was built in the late 1800s to defend the Pacific coast. 
and it was used as a military training facility. And now it's a historical state park, which you can go to and walk around and explore the old building and then take in the waterfront views that are just over the cliff on the other side of the building. This is definitely another must see if you're on the island. Even if you're not a big history buff, you can still enjoy the views and get a nice walk in. to Coopville, which is another cute town on the island. We got a drink there at this cute wine and beer shop that overlooked the wharf. Dinner, we went to Rocket Taco and it did not disappoint. They have a great patio in the back with a huge lawn to play games on and then of course really great tacos and margs. And the next morning we woke up and went to Flower House Cafe again with Nick's parents. I told you we thought it was really great. fun and relaxing weekend with the island is such a quick and easy trip to take if you're coming from Seattle. I definitely recommend that you check it out if you want to get away for a weekend or even just a day if that's all you have time for. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video so that I know that you liked it and I will see you in the next one.